another holiday film, a funny holiday film with some new twists that we usually don't see. We've got a, a patriarch as the, as the main character that's bringing everybody together. What is the formula in this movie that makes it, other than that, that keeps it different and keeps it lively and puts it in its place with all the other great holiday films? Well, I think that's a big thing. You know, that's a big thing to, to show uh, how a man holds a family together. You know, but this movie is really a love story. It's a love story between a man and his woman of 40 years. And um, he loves her so much he's trying to uh, connect with her through her, her favorite dish, sweet potato pie. And I think that's what touches people the most about this movie is the love of this man and this woman and, and how vulnerable Danny Glover is in his character. You have such a wealth of talent that you've assembled. How hard or easy was it to corral all these talented people to do the film with you? Well, Will Packer is, is, is able to cast anyone he wants to cast in movies. And uh, it was really, you know, with, with, his, with his support, with his backing, uh, we were able to uh, send the script out and the cast gravitated towards it and uh, saw the value in it. And here we are. We know that the film, you guys are going to see the film tonight and the audiences are going to get it next week. What's been some of your favorite parts of the film? Oh, the final scene with Danny Glover and Monique. That's one of my favorite scenes. And also with um, Jesse T. Usher and Danny Glover. There's a scene in there that touches me because I'm a new mom. Um, my son's three and a half. And that's between the son and the father. And just that whole thing with family, you know, it all, everyone can relate to it. It doesn't matter who you are. You can relate to the family aspects of the film. But also, so it's a good time. There's a dinner scene in there that won't stop, and you're going to be on the floor rolling around laughing. It's just a roller coaster ride of emotions and a lot of fun. We have a lot of funny people. Monique's in this, DC Young Flies, young up and coming talent, a lot of funny characters. Who was the biggest jokester on set that you had to say, hey, chill, save it for the camera? Romney Malco. He was periscoping. Between him and JB Smooth, I would say, were the biggest yeah. uh, jokesters on set. You know. So are you going to play any pranks on them while we're out here on the red carpet so we can keep rolling and look out for it? Yes, yes. I cut JB out of the whole movie, <laughs> and I didn't tell him. He's not even in the movie anymore. So that's the joke. That's the last practical joke that I'm playing that's on him. He got, you got the last laugh. Yeah, I got the last laugh. <laughs> All right. And before you guys head on in, what do you guys want for Christmas this year? Well, David already said for Donald Trump not to be in office, for Hillary yeah. Clinton to be president. Let's say yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it to be an early Christmas gift, like this Tuesday. All right. Yes. Thank so, you so much. to the polls so and vote Hillary Clinton. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.